Good morning, my dear students. Today, I am going to start Chapter 2, GUI, Operating System and Introduction. So, I would request you all to kindly open page number 20. Till now, I have taught you what is an operating system, what is a Windows, what are the features of Windows and what is GUI. I hope these topics must be clear to you all. Today, I am going to start with a new topic that is starting Windows 7. Now, as you all can see on my screen, this is the logo of Windows 10. In your computer textbook, it is given about Windows 7. However, in my laptop, I have Windows 10. So, Windows 7 and Windows 10, they all have the similar features, except few ones. I hope you all also must be having Windows 10 only. So, when you open your laptop or your PC, your computer takes few minutes or few seconds to get uploaded. So, when it gets uploaded, you can see this particular screen on your PC. This particular screen, this entire screen is known as desktop. This entire screen on your monitor is known as desktop. Okay. So, that means the screen that appears first after opening a PC, after opening a computer is known as desktop. Desktop is the first screen that appears when you start working. On the desktop, you can see small pictures. These small pictures are known as icons. Okay? These small pictures are known as icons. Now, under each icon, you can see a name is given. It's given Microsoft Edge. It's given admin, this PC, network. So, what is it? It is telling you that this icon is a recycle bin icon. This icon is a network icon. This icon is a this PC icon. These are the folders that I have created on my desktop. This is scratch icon. This is VLC media icon. This is when our RAR icon. So these are all the different icons that is there on my desktop. Icons are the small pictures that represents a program. Now, background of these icons, in the background of these icons, you can see this image, this picture. So what is this image or this picture is known as? This image or picture that appears behind the icons. The pictures or the image that appears behind the icon is known as background or you can also say wallpaper. Okay, what is a wallpaper or what is a desktop background? Desktop background or wallpaper is an image or a picture that appears behind the icons. On the desktop, you can see this bar also. This bar is known as task bar. This bar is known as task bar. Okay. What is a task bar? Task bar is a long horizontal bar. You can see that this task bar is so long. That is why it is known as it is a long horizontal bar. And what can you see on the taskbar? You can see a start button, a search box, 
you can see quick access toolbar or quick launch bar this is quick launch bar wherein you can see few icons from here only you can open any icon and this is notification window okay wherein you can see the date and time then you can see the volume button you can see your battery button you can also see the update of the temperature as well and this at the last it is the show desktop icon okay so these are all the different features or different uh, screens the different features of the desktop so again i will repeat when you switch on your computer you see the first screen and that first screen is known as the desktop on the desktop you will see the icons the taskbar the icons are the small image that represents a program okay like it is written class 4 so it is this folder belongs to class 4 this is a pdf file this is chrome this is zoom app okay this is google chrome this is adobe reader this is control panel so these are all the different icons that represents a particular program behind this icon you can see a desktop background or a wallpaper okay on the taskbar what this is a taskbar it is a long horizontal bar and on the taskbar what can you see you can see a start button you can see a search box you can see quick launch bar and at the end you will see the notification bar and also you will see this button this button is known as show desktop button what is show desktop button let's say if you open any file okay if you open any file and you want to go to the desktop directly without minimizing or clicking on the cross button so how can you go let me show it to you like you can see i have opened a particular file okay it will take few seconds yes that is going to open yeah the file is open now okay now i want to go without clicking on the minimize button or the maximize button or the cross button i want to go directly to the desktop so what i can do is i can simply click on this show desktop button now let me click and then you can see what happens on the screen i have directly reached to the desktop okay i have directly reach to the desktop so this is the work of a show desktop buttons you can see the date and time also you can change the time and date if the computer is not displaying the right date or the right time you can change it from here as well okay this is quick launch bar wherein you can open any of the program directly from here this is the start button wherein you can open all other programs which is there in your computer in your windows okay so this is these are all the different features of the desktop i hope children you must have understood this chapter okay and please children if you like the video please do subscribe the button okay and press the like button as well thank you children have a nice day